Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do it. We'll do, we'll do one with my crazy hair. Yes, please. Oh yes. Okay. Okay, let's do it. All right. And, uh, all right, we're back. And we're back. Uh, Hugo, right. Dapper boy. Uh, well, sure, you could say that the Dutch masters were technically more skilled, but I would argue that while the Dutch masters were better painters, Matisse had better paintings overall. Uh, art is dead. <laughs> Listen, you guys can navel gaze all you want about art and periods, but real art died long before we were ever born born, before the original masters picked up their brushes, before Prometheus received fire from the gods. Everything we do on this planet is born of a fear of death. Art is just a way for humans to try to live forever. Dude. But it doesn't matter. Hugo's face was not impressed with what you just said to him. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. One day we'll all be dust. Everyone stares at you. Yeah, look at, like, Anyway... (laughs) We were just discussing the importance of context when we were talking about artwork. <laughs> Listen, all... Ah, oh, God, that's not it. All I asked was if you liked Van Gogh or Picasso better. Um. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but they represent two different uh, art movements. How could I possibly choose between the thick... Creamy impasto post impressionalism and the abstractionist beauty of cubism. Man, that's all the way above my head. <sighs> Me too. Uh, Me too! <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. The cool thing about art is that we all perceive it differently. A single piece of art can have a totally different effect on each person. That, or, eh, fuck. <laughs> that's a bad read. Holy shit. Dude, I would ask for a redo if, if we were actually <laughs> recording something important. A single piece could have a totally different effect on each person that looks at it, and that's awesome. Just one minute about that. Hugo, please. Sorry, sorry, I get real fired up about the art stuff. Frodo, how are you like in the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everyone's been super friendly. Oh god, you should really take one. Okay, uh, you want me to take over one? Uh, yeah, well, how, how low can you go with Matt? Do you think you could manage to hit, hit one of those? <sighs> Probably sounds a lot like Brian. <laughs> can, you, can, you do a, can you do a raspy Englishman voice for Hugo? Uh, probably not. Can you just try? Can you, can uh, you give me a flavor of it? <laughs> of an English voice? A raspy English voice, a dandy. Uh, <laughs> Cheerio and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's it. Is that okay, okay, you're yeah, you're gonna be here going now. <laughs> you're here going now. No, 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 it's fine. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you would look cute. And... <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Yay! Am I cool now? Yeah, you are. You're pretty cute. <laughs> Snapchat value. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. No, nope, but you're slightly less on cool than you were before you put it on. Ha <laughs> Hey, Frodo. This is my daughter. Hello. I'm Carmen Cita. Carmen Cita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Dab. Finally. Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dad, look. Break. I'm making friends. Yes. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop, and an old college friend, and your teacher. Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize you were neighbor. We were neighbors. Uh, Yep, sure am. Hey, come on. (laughs) I can't get it when I'm like English. Come on. I don't do English. (laughs) Pip pip (laughs) chill. Uh, Just say all the vowels wide. I can't do it. In, okay, you, you still gonna? Uh, I can't do it. I swear to God, I <laughs> can't do it. You still gonna get me that overdue tone, Papa? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Great seeing you. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> 
finger guns her way out of the conversation like champ. She learned the finger guns from me. I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where'd my son oh. go? Sweet Manchego. <laughs> Sweet Manchego. Okay, you can be earnest because you can do teenagers. Ugh, okay. Ernest, Ernest Hemingway Vega, are you smoking? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, cigarette flicks it into the gutter. Oh. Big old dick. Unbelievable! Excuse me. Are you fixing your hair <laughs> I'm fixing now, my hair. Now? Just gonna look in the monitor. Just, yep. It's a little bit better. Mm. Kids, right? Man, I do not envy Hugo. Last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. In the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. <laughs> and then it spread onto my lawn, burned down half of my yard too. <laughs> um. Hey everybody, sorry about that. Frodo, this is my son Ernest. Hello. <laughs> Can you say that? Can dot, you? dot, dot. <laughs> be, a, be a shittier teenage boy. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Oh. Ernest. Okay, okay. I'm in grade. I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure we're just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for failing the eco failing economy. Uh-huh. Unhist! Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. <laughs> yep, that's... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep, yep. <laughs> he seems nice. So nice. I'm... So sorry, he's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Everybody can see my fucking friends <laughs> going on their fucking Steam accounts. That's okay. I'm gonna call out all my friends. Uh, I'm gonna start me. sending them <laughs> angry emails. It's like, hey, I'm trying to record a thing for the internet. <laughs> trying to record. Yeah. I have to be the authoritarian dad for my friends, too. I mean. <sighs> Why do you make us do voices? Because <laughs> otherwise people won't know the difference between these characters unless they're watching the, sh the thing. I mean, also, I was thinking as a dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian authoritarian as you can get. They go, shaka bra. 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 <laughs> Honestly, uh, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? And I'm cool as a cucumber. See that right there? You can't say that. My kids think I'm cool. <laughs> but for how long, Greg? How long do we have get to be the cool dads? Uh, uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's great. great. <laughs> uh, I think we have to accept the fact that as dads, we become the machine we once raged against and accept our fates to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. <laughs> Amanda! I'm cool, right? <laughs> See your point. <laughs> as much as we all want it, I don't think it's important to be cool, uh, a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be the best friends of our kids. It doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. Mm -hmm. My jobs as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. <laughs> sound like you're dying. I know. Right there. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, but it'd be nice to have it both ways. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to cool my throat. Don't refreshing. let us eat up your time, Frodo. Go meet some other... More English. M more, more English. <laughs> more English. 
go meet some other people around the neighborhood. More Cockney. Does he don't even like Australia. Cockney? What the? <laughs> Hmm, who shows. should I meet? Hamburgers or Joseph and Damien? Just burgers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if you're gonna you're gonna do Damien, you gotta give me a Victorian gothy accent. You know, I can do voices when we're not recording, but when we record I cannot do a single voice at <laughs> all. Right. all. Well just get a voice find a voice for Damien. I'll do I'll do Joseph because Joseph is my very, very pompous dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Huh. Just like do like a, a drawing. Where where, oh, where do I, do I even start? where do I even start? The house is start, stays warmer in the winter, and it provides an artistic cons- contrast. Con- contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and completes no, and compliments. complements the crimson interior perfectly. See there, you got one. Mm. You found one. It's definitely a interesting choice. And I know about interesting choices. Coming up next, I'll tell you all about my interesting choices. <laughs> I'm yes. dying inside. Just a little. Huh. Okay. You want to fix your hair? <laughs> no, I'm just going to put the hat back on. Oh, okay, good idea. Yeah. <laughs>